Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming to the Netherlands. Welcome. Very nice uh, to be with you and be able to talk to you about challenges in your sector, in your work. Somewhere in the Roman Empire, there was once a jealous man who kept his wife locked up, locked up in the house, uh, in order to uh, prevent her from being unfaithful. Uh, prevent her from being unfaithful, the man placed several guards outside his house. Uh, unfortunately, this didn't stop her. In fact, she cheated on her husband with the guards. Uh, Juvenal wrote this story in the second century uh, AD. Of course, he was writing satire. It was, in fact, uh, a political message. He ended his story with an interesting question, who watches the watchman? And this question is still relevant now, uh, today, 2,000 years later. Because over the past few years, auditors have had bad press. Uh, many incidents that have involved financial statements which, despite receiving the stamp of approval from an audit firm, did not reflect the true state of affairs of the company, in the public and private sector, I might say. And these incidents are not limited to the, four, the big four audit firms. And as a politician, I can assure you there's nothing harder to, to regain, to win back as trust. Banks know about this, insurance companies have found out about this, and now audit firms know it too. And the situation is, in fact, I'm afraid to say, quite serious. If your seal of approval is questioned, the added value of your work itself is at stake. And with every new incident, it becomes more and more difficult for the public to determine which charts, figures and results can be trusted. And of course, this is not what you want, this is not what we want. You want to represent a sector that is justly proud of its work. Your approval should not have give any reason for doubt. It should be a byword for reliability and precision. If it's not, audit firms lose their raison d'être. If it's not, people will again start asking the age-old question, who watches the watchman? I think my point is clear, we all want to strengthen the quality of audits and restore trust in audit firms and auditors. In Europe, several measures have been taken to refocus audit firms on their main task, the quality of control. And of course, we still have a long way to go, and it will take quite long to restore confidence in every way. Let me highlight two measures in particular. Firstly, Europe has introduced a strict separation between audit and non-audit services, such as tax advice and other forms of consultancy. It emerged that many audit firms provided audit services to companies at the same time as providing advisory services. And this situation allows too much scope for conflicts of interest. And it provides scope for the last thing you need, doubt about your independence. Secondly, Europe has introduced mandatory rotation for audit firms, and in this way, auditors do not become one of the family. As of mid-2016, companies will, in principle, be required to switch to a different audit firm after 10 years. Ladies and gentlemen, in the Netherlands, the Authority of Financial Markets is the supervisory body responsible for overseeing audit firms. The AFM, conducted an investigation into the quality of audits carried out by the big four audit firms. And this report uh, appeared in September 2014. The AFM concluded that 45% of these reports were not up to standard. 45%. I realize that these are not all catastrophical mistakes. But imagining you bringing your car to a mechanic for a periodic inspection and he doesn't check the brakes. It doesn't necessarily mean the car won't brake anymore, the brakes may be fine, uh, but it does mean that an essential part of the vehicle hasn't been checked and that the seal of approval is basically non-valuable. I should add that in the 2010 investigation, the percentage of audits which were not up to standard was even higher, with 52%. 
the improvement has been unacceptably small. Again, this was not uh, a problem only at the big four uh, accountancy firms. Small audit firms also showed insufficient quality. Dutch Parliament called on the sector to come up with proposals to improve the quality of audits. And the Netherlands Institute of Chartered Accountants and the rest of the sector responded, submitting 53 pros proposals uh, for improvement. Examples of important elements of these proposals are a quality-based remuneration, clawback scheme for audit partners, a better leverage model, and a promotion policy which takes proven professional qualities as its starting point. In addition to this set of proposals coming from the sector itself, I intend to take a number of legislative measures to improve the quality of audits. One of these is mandatory internal supervisory body, comparable to a supervisory board, because independent internal supervision may ensure that audit firms adopt a long-term policy. A policy aimed at integrity, independence, professional skills, and effectively changing the corporate culture. Moreover, members of the executive and supervisory boards at audit firms will have to pass a fit and proper test. Because it is crucial that audit firms are run by people who have the right knowledge, professional qualities and competences. Because we need real watchmen. Ladies and gentlemen, newer and stricter rules are necessary, and yet rules alone are not enough. Auditors also have to change their corporate culture, I think. It's not an easy task. Clear rules are necessary. You need a framework, and the EU has done that. The Netherlands has done that also. But the second step is now up to you. You need to take the necessary steps yourself. And I think professional organizations like yours can play a key role in helping audit firms adopt to this new mentality. For one thing, auditors need to act in the spirit of the law, as well as the letter. Auditors do not just work for their clients, they also have to act in the public interest. This requires an independent, prudent and precise mentality. With the combination of new rules and your willingness to win back the public's trust, I believe we can restore the reputation of audit firms. Changing a culture is difficult. It will not be done overnight. We can only do it step by step. Unfortunately, we are in a hurry. The Romans were also familiar with this challenge. Martial, the Roman author who lived around the same time as Juvenal, once wrote, divide the work and thus shorten it. So this is what we must do with the EU and the member states, professional organizations and the audit firms themselves, so people will again trust their watchmen. Thank you very much.